Good morning to everyone. On behalf of management, principal, and faculty members of MGR Janagi College for Women, I extend a warm welcome to the participants from different colleges. This FDP about Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan scheme will help us to know what are the new schemes which are introduced by Government of India towards the business people with special reference to micro, small, and medium enterprises. I'm happy to introduce our resource person, Dr. C.A. Gopalakrishna Raju, a practicing chartered accountant, registered insolvency professional, and registered value work. He is also a tax assurance and restructuring partner of Mrs. Gopal Rock and Company. Sir served as a regional council member of SARC for three consecutive terms of nine years. His additional qualifications include associate member of Institute of Company Secretary, postgraduate diploma in operation research and financial management. Sir has authored two books called Standard Costing and Variance Analysis, First Lesson in Information Technology. Sir is a versatile speaker and a writer in numerous journals and TV channels. I'm happy to welcome you, sir. Before I hand over the session to sir, a gentle reminder to the participants that attendance link will be posted in between the session and the feedback form will be posted at the end of the session. Please post it. Could please take over the session. Very good morning, friends. It's almost 12 noon, so very good afternoon. <clears throat> so 12 to 11 to 12 is our session. So by the time we'll be uh, closing this session, it will be good afternoon. So the outset, let me thank uh, the organizers of uh, Dr. MGR Janaki College of Arts and Science for Women, the organizing secretary, Dr. K. Latika, principal Dr. R. Mani Mekalai, correspondent Dr. Rotarian, Dr. Uh, Lata Rajendran, and uh, this particular special webinar on uh, Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhyana, very uh, good coordination. Effectively, uh, they have uh, brought all of you, all the learned uh, fraternity across length and breadth of the country together. I must place on record an appreciation to uh, Dr. Shiba Tilmurgan and uh, Dr. K. Sucharita and the entire team behind them uh, for making this program uh, a very, very effective and a successful one. So thank you very much, uh, the entire team, Dr. MGR Janaki College team, for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share my thoughts uh, on Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhyan. So before uh, I start the presentation, I'll just take a minute to screen share it. Yes. Yeah, thank you. First of all, I must um, First of all, I must um, appreciate uh, the team, uh, Dr. MGR Janaki College, for uh, choosing uh, one of the most uh, latest and important topic called Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhyan, the economic package, stimulus package, which is announced by uh, our uh, Honorable Pradhan Mantri, uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji, and uh, followed by uh, our Honorable Finance Minister, uh, Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman ji. Uh, for a continuous uh, five days, there was a press meet uh, in explaining the entire stimulus package, Atmanirbhar. In Atmanirbhar is uh, very, in simple terms, uh, self-reliant. And may I request uh, uh, Madam uh, Sheba and uh, Sukarita Madam to kindly... Uh, yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. These are the five pillars of self-reliant India, which was uh, made uh, announced by uh, our Honorable Pradhan Mantri. And one of the pillars is uh, economy. Today, because of this uh, pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the situation not only in our country, but across the globe, uh, there has been lull 
and uh, there are places where economy is uh, in the process of actually recovery and in our country it is not an exception it is uh, because of the lockdown there is a need to actually push the entire uh, the segment especially micro small and medium enterprises and i want to place on record uh, one particular point here guys if you look at uh, this is a booklet uh, this particular booklet actually carries uh, 266 pages and i wish uh, all of you download this particular book uh, which is published by ministry of micro small and medium enterprises in this the message given by the then uh, minister kalraj mishra ji i want to share with you this particular paragraph alone where it is very clearly mentioned the contribution of msme is 8% of gdp i repeat guys it is 8% of gdp and 45% of the manufacturing uh, output and 40% of the exports of the country are uniquely they are uh, driven by micro small and medium enterprises which is uh, a very very big uh, contribution and this sector is uh, one of the very important sector so keeping this in mind i am actually uh, taking uh, all of you this uh, particular presentation towards uh, the stimulus economy stimulus uh, package uh, and especially the micro small and medium enterprises what is the uh, package uh, that will actually be applicable for msmes and before i uh, take you into the respective uh, schemes uh, i want to make one clear cut uh, distinction between the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan package and the schemes which is already there announced by msme erstwhile this is actually a document which was published in 2015 itself i repeat in 2015 itself a thousand copies are available and today it is available in soft copy please look at this if you look at the we have 52 ministries central ministries look at every ministry has announced uh, the schemes msme schemes uh, by ministry of micro small and medium enterprises itself apart from that you have skill development entrepreneurship that ministry has uh, announced schemes ministry of labor heavy industries ministry youth affairs new and renewable energy uh, ministry of development and northeastern region schemes exclusively for northeastern people their msmes forest environment and climate scheme various uh, schemes are there. look at waste minimization clean technology scheme fundings are given and uh, there are funding to actually go abroad and then participate in the international uh, exhibitions fairs for which uh, to and fro travel will be given stay will be given the uh, the expenses with respect to the stall will be given the brochure printing all these are given i'm just giving you one example human resource development scheme health and family welfare schemes petroleum mines road transport consumer affairs defense scheme niti aayog scheme what we call the setu schemes agriculture schemes chemicals and fertilizers farmers and i don't want to uh, bore you with uh, all this this is one document uh, which i want to make it very clear that the existing msme schemes announced by ministry of uh, micro small and medium enterprises and the atmanirban atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan which is self reliant india stimulus package both are not same that schemes are different atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan economic stimulus packages are different so therefore there are certain basis reasons for bringing out this particular economic package that is what uh, i'll be focusing purely and uh, this entire uh, session will be uh, up to 12 o'clock uh, and uh, maybe by 11:20 or 11:25 there will be a uh, uh, i will share the attendance related uh, aspect and i will take the entire session up to 11:40 or 11:50 maximum and we'll have a 10 minute uh, q and a especially on this so let me first take you to um, the msme related announcement that is made under atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan and here i want to make one point very clear guys that uh, previously and this is what uh, the link uh, the book what i showed you now the 266 page book this particular book which i showed you the link is given here maybe uh, if i share this particular document this document i will be sharing in my blog uh, the blog address i will be giving and uh, this is the link of the msme.gov.in/site you have the msme schemes english uh, uh, 
uh, 0.pdf in this particular link uh, the entire book is available 266 page book and i wish even students and teachers we need to understand what these schemes are and especially uh, how the country is actually if may, you may be an economics teacher you may be actually uh, a commerce teacher a management teacher so whatever may be this schemes actually has to uh, uh, be clear for the youngsters especially those who uh, want to uh, take entrepreneurship as their uh, as their model no no i don't want to be a salaried employee i don't want to uh, actually uh, hit the uh, college uh, campus uh, recruitment process but i want to be a, my own uh, on my own then this is the booklet which uh, they have to be very very thorough with okay this is number one but this scheme is actually a, i will say a 20 lakh package scheme is only one time scheme lifetime once we will only come across these kind of packages and uh, uh, india uh, with the leadership of uh, uh, the present government uh, and i am sure this situation is very unique very rare and i am sure uh, all of you will appreciate that uh, when we go into the depth of the schemes uh, you will really understand yes this stimulus is required this is actually a stimulus package it's like a catalyst it's like giving a, an additional dosage uh, to to make you very uh, look very strength good so now the first point which i want to drive here is the definition of uh, micro small and medium enterprises please look at this point guys this was the earlier definition on top of it and down below the new revised msme definition and i want to make one point very clear even today's newspaper i don't know how many of you have seen today's newspaper the headline the headline of today's newspaper i made it very clear eh, that this uh, uh, revised criteria where investment is less than 20 crore and turnover and turnover please look at the previous criteria the previous criteria is only investment criteria but look at the revised criteria it is investment and turnover that means both you must satisfy if your investment goes up turnover is less you are not a medium enterprise investment is less but turnover is above 100 crore even then you are a medium not a medium enterprise or otherwise your uh, investment is less than 10 crore but your turnover is not less than 50 crore it has gone 60 crore then you are not a small you become a medium enterprise so like that they have actually designed it very nicely it was not turnover related uh, classification previously now i want to make one point very clear the assessment year the financial year i repeat guys financial year 2021 financial year 2021 you will actually be uh, surprised guys the domestic companies the domestic companies that is assessment year 9 2122 21, domestic companies turnover up to 400 crores turnover up to 400 crores there is a concessional tax rate given considering them to be a small or medium enterprises only by the income tax department by ministry of finance by ministry of finance where the tax rate is 25% and only when the turnover crosses 400 crores it was 250 crores last year it was 250 crores last year so so such companies for income tax purpose if they cross uh, 100 crore they will be treated as a small company or a medium company not large company so if they are making a turnover as 250 crores 300 crores they will not be treated as an msme under msme definition but they are considered as a small company under uh, income tax definition because concessional tax rate 25% if they cross turnover of 400 crores the normal tax rate of 30% is applicable of course for a partnership firm what is the tax rate 30% for partnership firm any turnover 30% tax rate domestic companies domestic companies they are classified into two less than 400 crore 25% tax rate above 400 crore 30% so possibly this particular aspect please look at today's newspaper headlines guys there has been lot of hello bello noise has been made that uh, the turnover criteria which has been announced uh, which proposed uh, in atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan has to be actually increased uh, so that it syncs with the uh, ministry of finance definition with respect to the tax rate so that is one very interesting uh, move that has been made uh, in today there is a today's uh, development in today's newspaper please look at that so this is uh, the first point i want to drive that is with respect to who is an msme the second point what i want to drive is okay who is an msme this was the old definition this is a new definition now i will take you to the next step the moment you are an msme what is the next one you need an identity i repeat the word you need an identity now what is an identity of an msme now today and we are all human beings so what is identity for us our database is our identity our name our father's name 
our address our pan number our din number okay our voter id okay these are all have become if we don't have a database at all anywhere our passport then uh, we are uh, in no man's land actually so our database our data our identity is what the data what the government is having now similarly msme also must uh, get listed with uh, the government database and today i must make this point very clear guys please look at this udyog aadhar memorandum udyog aadhar memorandum this is the id uam uam in short uam please look at this the uh, uh, manki baat manki baat is uh, manadin kural in tamil actually so uh, uh, this is i must appreciate uh, the initiative see generally we have this uh, video channels what you call satellite channels satellite channels are popular the moment satellite channels have become popular uh, radios have become uh, vividha bharati and all have become thing of past but uh, here we have uh, a prime minister who has actually uh, made vividha bharati and uh, the uh, what you call prasar bharati okay the prasar bharati radio channels are very popular among uh, the entire country guys and 11 am exactly 11 am the fourth sunday everybody will be tuned into it uh, so that monthly bath through that on 3 10 2014 uh, our pradhan mantri announced uh, that uh, the msme registration will be simplified how by introducing a concept called uam udyog aadhar memorandum guys this is how you are uh, udyog aadhar memorandum will look like this is an online one you can online you can do it and uh, i will request uh, the faculty members here to uh, actually make this as a, a project itself how to create a udyog aadhar memorandum what are the steps sir so and uh, those uh, msmes who doesn't have a udyog aadhar memorandum identify them and get the documents listed ask the candidates ask the students to log in and uh, make uh, the credentials upload and then bank account pan ityadi ityadi create udyog aadhar memorandum and then generate it for the particular fee of course udyog aadhar memorandum there is no fee it is uh, without any fee it was there for a fee uh, previously the simplified one page registration form uam was made after consultation with a committee called kamath committee on financial architecture and today uh, before i take you to this uh, the msme uh, udyog aadhar memorandum i want to share with you some very interesting statistics please look at this guys this was the number of uh, ssi small and uh, the small scale industries the olden uh, terminologies and i'm sure many of the teachers here faculty members here will remember the old concept of uh, ssi this is uh, the old ssi uh, registered uh, database please look at this on uh, the top of five states for top five states are tamil nadu tops gujarat uttar pradesh kerala karnataka and after that only maharashtra is coming so these are the old ssi data registered data old 15 lakhs but now look at uh, udyog aadhar memorandum through this particular site udyogaadhar.gov.in to instantly get your unique instantly means tak tak log in fill it up immediately provided you give the aadhar number you give the respect to gst number bank account details all those things you will get like just like that so very interesting uh, features and i want to make uh, this particular number very clear to all of you this is the estimated number of msmes please look at this that is 633.88 lakh that means 6.33 crores this is the number of msmes estimated and if you look at that the top 3 states are uttar pradesh west bengal and maharashtra so that alone will constitute 14 plus 14 28 plus 8 so which is 36% so more than one third of the msmes are only in this three or maybe you can even include uh, maharashtra also 38 plus uh, maybe uh, 36 plus 8 will be 44 and karnataka if you include it is 50% and bihar and andhra pradesh you include and rajasthan gujarat you include it is 65% so 65% of the entire country's msme is only in this eight states so majority i can say and uh, please look at this number this is very very important number guys so say ask for this number out of the 6 crore msmes okay 6.33 crore msmes 6.08 crore msmes that means almost 96% 96% uh, of these msmes are uh, what is it uh, they are actually they are actually proprietary entities not partnership very pathetic i must tell you guys in our country proprietor concerns are uh, considered to be uh, uh, the most uh, okay the comfortable one number one number two okay number two 
i must make uh, one more uh, observation that uh, the male and female please look at the entrepreneurs percentage the male owned percentage is almost 80% and female owned uh, msm is only 20% so i think uh, this is the right medium for me to actually uh, uh, share this uh, statistics and uh, we have the learned uh, fraternity here who will actually carry this message to the uh, students and the youngsters that yes the women entrepreneurs have to come forward it is in the name of maybe many many of the female registered msmes will be in the name of female but it will be run by male so it should be reverse actually it will be registered in the name of male but it should be run by female that should be the spirit of uh, this law and uh, maybe these numbers should actually give us uh, an indication that uh, we need to actually inspire the women entrepreneurs no 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 i will only go for a salary receive monthly salary i don't want to uh, take risk no women entrepreneurs have to come forward and the moment we will be seeing all this uh, stimulus packages i am sure you will actually understand now i will share with you some very interesting uh, schemes look here guys for women look here guys uh, look here uh, look here support for training and development program for women step training and women and uh, uh, employment program for women step so there is a scheme if women entrepreneurs they are coming forward for training for training purpose soft skill hard skills technical skills training program if there are small and medium enterprises they register under uam ministry of women and child development they give support under this particular for uh, their infrastructure for their working capital they give support at a very 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 nominal rate of interest why don't you try this and these are the things we must tell uh, the young uh, women entrepreneurs now please look at uh, another very interesting scheme which uh, i want to share it with all of you especially for uh, youngsters in this particular place especially the skill development please look at this the item number 2 ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship number 2 national skill certification monetary reward star scheme udan training program unemployed youth okay that is for exclusive for jnk but the, look at the second one very interesting guys the skill development in this country skill is very very rare now you can come out with very varied skills it can be uh, technical skills um, oratorial skills oratorial skills writing skills uh, uh, computer skills so many kinds of courses you can bring with the help of uh, national skill development corporation and funding will be given funding will be given banks gives you fund with respect to infrastructure creation working capital creation number 3 with respect to uh, the enrollment process you enroll the students uh, the students uh, need not pay anything fees will be paid by nsdc to you and uh, out of that uh, Well, one portion you can take, uh, and there is a reward for the students who clear that course, uh, who get the certificate. So out of that fund, uh, one portion will actually go to the student itself as a reward. That is called a monetary reward. Look at this. This monetary reward is for whom? For those students who clear the examination. So if you train, you are given funding by the government. The loan is given with respect to the infrastructure and working capital. And apart from this, the candidate is also given a monetary reward. What a scheme! so these are the things we must actually and maybe if i speak about every scheme time may not be sufficient so that is why i want to take directly to the next important aspect that is the the business including msmes the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan the packages the what do you call it as the relief packages for covid-19 affected entities so here i am going to share with you one 3 lakh crore collateral free automatic loan 2 the 20000 crore subordinate debt for stressed msmes 3 the 50000 crore equity infusion for msmes through fund of funds these are the three things that i am going to actually discuss i am going to actually discuss okay Correct. Right. Now, point to be noted. <clears throat> point to be noted. This uh, three schemes. Uh, I'll call it as a a chair with um, three legs. I'll call it a chair with three legs. And each leg uh, is applicable for one one type of uh, uh, what do you say the type of MSMEs. So first leg, uh, I'll take you to this three uh, lakh crore collateral free automatic loan for business, including MSMEs. This is the first leg. And in this first leg. This will actually take uh, five minutes to ten minutes, and by the time the attendance uh, 
point will be shared it to you okay good rupees 3 lakh crore collateral free the moment this name is announced collateral free automatic loan everybody they thought okay i'll go and uh, stand in line i will also get the loan we need to understand one thing very clear so there is a riders there are some riders what are the riders please look at this emergency credit line emergency credit line to businesses including msmes from banks and nbfcs this is for the existing running companies standard assets non performing assets should not be there they are a good borrower and because of the lockdown shutter down their business is actually stand still now when you open the shutters you have lot of um, what do you say the liabilities immediate liabilities like for example you need to take care of your employees you need to actually pay your suppliers you need to actually repair your uh, 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 what you are machineries so there will be uh, some commitments to actually you need to push your you need to push your uh, business to bring to the track to bring to the track to naturally once you bring into the track uh, it runs once it runs uh, you are actually strong and that is the idea behind this 3 lakh crore collateral free automatic loan so first of all you must be an existing borrower you must be an existing borrower that is why 29 to 2020 that should be an outstanding credit for example you have an outstanding credit outstanding loan of uh, 20 crores there has been a lot of um, speculation with respect to this uh, place no 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 whether it will be only working capital loan whether term loan will be considered term loan plus uh, working capital loan will it be considered these are the areas uh, my understanding is currently if the shutter has to be opened uh, do you need a term loan i don't think you need a term loan you only need a working capital loan so therefore they may not consider term loan but uh, there are uh, possibilities where no 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 you consider a term loan also also the working capital loan ccod put together give us a 20% limit this is an area where uh, uh, we have learned uh, faculty members here and i am sure you will also agree with me that uh, should the term loan should be included uh, for uh, arriving at that 20% for example 20 crores talk about 20 crores 15 crores is term loan 5 crores is uh, odcc that is with respect to working capital limit now 20% i have to calculate on what on 20 crores 20% is 4 crores on 5 crores 20% is 1 crore so which one is applicable which one is applicable so that's a very interesting part this is an area where government is actually uh, as given the package stimulus you stimulus you make the company to stand up and run but how do we design it so a a, a package has to be designed a scheme has to be designed and uh, sector to sector to sector the schemes how it has to be applied this is number one number two guys so 20% outstanding second you need to actually give documents what is this documents you need to give naturally uh, you need to prove you need to actually prove that because of covid 19 you are affected your your company is affected i must uh, make one uh, observation here and uh, make this dry make this point dry straight to you that if there are 100 industries if there are 100 companies and uh, please uh, be very clear that uh, not all 100 are affected by covid 19 pandemic it's uh, some of the industries are blessed by covid 19 pandemic blessed i will say for example we are not connected because uh, there is a technology and because of this technology uh, the technology companies are able to do very good business second the pharmaceuticals pharmaceutical all the shutters are down only one only one uh, uh, what do you say the shops were open almost everywhere what shops 24 by 7 the shops were open what is that and they were doing almost all business including food uh, butter bread uh, water okay everything they were doing so that one particular uh, is pharmacy pharmacies all pharmacies are open and pharmacy who is the supplier the pharmaceutical companies ayurvedic companies they were able to make a, and this april may this april may they were making turnover compared to the last year this year's turnover was should have been double actually should have been double because the entire country was focusing only on one one particular vertical no other business so very very uh, different so therefore you were uh, Uh, what do you say? The GST uh, returns. Uh, your bank statements will actually prove 
whether uh, you are affected by covid-19 pandemic so that's the important aspect guys that's a very very important aspect so maybe i have not got the uh, madam you can send the the what do you say the link to me direct uh, now you can send the link so that i can post it ah attendance link it's here so this is the attendance yes so guys your attendance link is posted by 11:29 am so kindly use this link to uh, uh, record your uh, presence and maybe parallel you can do it and also uh, make your uh, uh, ears you also uh, focus your ears uh, in this session good so now rupees 3 lakh crore collateral free automatic loans for business including msmes so this is uh, the two conditions which i mentioned and there's a third condition that is very important guys and once this credit is given there will be a review there will be a review there will be a monitoring process whether that particular credit has been utilized by for the for the business purpose only so therefore the loan is actually for a four year tenor but the first year you need not pay your principal okay first 12 months you need not pay your principal but whether you have to pay interest yes you have to pay interest and interest will be capped that means uh, they may not charge you more than please look at this this the interest will be capped at only 9.25% this was already been announced exactly some two or two years back two days back two days back there has been a decision taken by government of india through the uh, parliament itself uh, this was actually a decision was taken that interest rates under the the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan scheme will be capped at 9.25% and if at all they charge more than that the difference will actually be born by uh, government of india so that's a very important thing the guaranteed emergency credit line the government has provided a corpus of 41600 crore which will be spread over four years to actually support this particular scheme so very interesting part uh, is uh, this emergency credit for msmes then we have uh, this entire credit that has been given by uh, the uh, banks uh, with respect to 3 lakh crore for msmes there is a credit guarantee because this is an emergency credit uh, and uh, there is uh, no collateral now what is the security for the banks the only security for the banks is the entire funding is guaranteed by the cgt msme credit guarantee trust cgt msme so uh, this 100% credit guarantee cover to banks uh, and nbfcs on principal and interest is actually made and uh, this scheme is actually available till 31st of october 2020 the time limit is till 31st of october 2020 and uh, what is the relief you have no collateral they will not ask so the only link is will you be given the existing 20% the, the new 20% will it be added to the existing loan or you will be given a fresh uh, line of credit this is called emergency credit line emergency credit means you will be given an uh, additional uh, account number and uh, that will be monitored it will not be mixed with your uh, existing credit line so that's why uh, these things uh, have to be actually kept in mind and point to be noted and uh, will i be eligible will i be eligible for this credit the the first point all of the existing msme must note is am i an msme second whether my turnover is below 100 crore third whether my borrowing is less than 25 crore fourth whether i have an outstanding credit as on 29 2020 okay, that will be decided for uh, arriving at that 20 percent amount so all these four uh, criteria are fundamental good next uh, is this 20000 crore subordinate debt for test emissions now i must actually uh, generally all over the world including india once a borrower is a non performing asset is one for non borrower is a non performing asset will he be given additional credit he has already defaulted now will he be given additional credit that is the uh, that is the point here so it is a uh, by nature what do you call it as the financial prudence okay the subject finance itself says prudence and because of that the person who has actually become an npa or the company which has become npa no 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 he should not give further credit to them so this is the 
point uh, which is driven fundamentally but uh, this fundamental point has actually been broken and i must actually place on record place on record my appreciation my acknowledgement that uh, falling down is not a fall but not getting up is a fall please note down this guys falling down is not a fall no 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 i have failed miserably in my business my money is lost uh, my uh, borrowings have become npa but very important guys they are experienced they are experienced that entrepreneur is experienced i must actually appreciate that and uh, if you give the helping hand to him yes you have experience i believe you you try to actually come up in life uh, he will uh, that is the real uh, uh, what do you call it a stimulus the real stimulus the word stimulus is only applicable for this 20000 crore i will tell you this is the real catch npa assets uh, stressed assets no what do you mean by stressed assets this uh, what do you call it as this sma 1 2 3 what is sma 1 2 3 special mention accounts special mention account one where more than due date 30 days you have not paid more than 60 day due date after 60 day due date after 90 days after 90 days npa damal so sma 1 2 3 and npa they are all uh, they are all almost defaulted they have defaulted and uh, what is the only remedy all these years all these years surface securitization and enforcement of uh, what do you call it as uh, securitized assets uh, uh, what is it go to the respective debt recovery tribunal recovery notice and then uh, take back the assets lock in it recover the money and pay whatever it is maybe if still surplus is there it will be paid if surplus is not there it will be written off this is the and that will be there forever and that stigma that stigma of uh, uh, whatever the money that has been lost and the way of the surface loss has recovered the money it's quite traumatic and today guys 20000 crores about in a debt what is about in a debt i'll explain to you stressed msm is how they will be funding first point please look at this guy condition number 1 functioning msm is despite all the borrowings npas i am actually struggling to function so conditions will provide second they don't give a condition that no you must have a borrowing up to this and all that the law is not there it can be any amount okay it can be any npa but it is only msmes look at this word only msmes but here it is not only msme it is 3 lakh crore it is also business what is the fundamental difference very important fundamental difference is here the borrowing is up to 25 crores for example 20 crores is my borrowing 10 crores is my equity then 30 crores if it is 30 crores look at the definition investment uh, 30 crores means i am not an msme at all i become a large enterprise that is the catch here that is the catch here so therefore this 20000 debt uh, how they are going to give government will provide a support of 4000 crores to cdt msme okay that's actually uh, because very important here this uh, 3 lakh crore entire 100% the credit guarantee is given by the credit guarantee trust no central government but here Central government is coming forward. Twenty percent, I will bear it. Don't worry. The balance, eighty percent, who will bear? CGT MSME, Credit Guarantee Trust for medium and small enterprise. That uh, CGT MSME will bear will bear that eighty percent. But again, they will not bear eighty percent. Based on the industry, fifty percent, sixty percent, seventy percent, eighty percent. That is the criteria. They will actually give the guarantee. That's called partial credit guarantee. Look at the word. Broad partial. Credit guarantee support to banks. Now, how they are going to fund it? That's the interesting part. The funding will be done in two steps. The funds will not be given directly to the companies. Second, MSME should be a company. The test MSME should be a company. Private limited, public limited, closely held public limited. Now, if it is a, if it is a partnership firm, if it is an individual, no, no, they don't get that uh, benefit. They don't get that benefit at all. So then, how? First promoters of the MSME will be given to the banks. So who are promoters? The directors, the directors of the company. They will be given the loan. They may already have the loan up to the what do you say this point by housing loan. What is it? The vehicle loan, that loan, personal loan, all these loans. Whatever they receive in their bank account will go for loan. Now will they be eligible? So promoters of the MSME will be given debt by bank. This is one point which uh, 
the entire banks are breaking the red how 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 can we give they are already having up to this brain that is why the word subordinate please understand this word what is subordinate that and all of you are highly educated uh, uh, faculty members please understand what is subordinated debt means huh? subordinated debt has a low priority it is actually unsecured loan it is actually unsecured loan and uh, in case of uh, liquidation or bankruptcy that will be the last uh, debt even after the government tax authorities and senior debt holders so they will have the seniority subordinated will have the last so that is why this is the promoters of the msm will get debt by banks so debt will come from the scheme to the individuals to the borrow to the borrowers that is the uh, directors shareholders they will actually infuse the equity into the the msme companies so this is all which will then be infused by promoter as equity in the unit very interesting uh, model they have designed and i must actually appreciate the think tank behind uh, the government of india who have actually designed this kind of uh, revival restructuring of uh, nps and uh, the next one year next to one year next six months uh, is going to be a lot of consulting work and many educated uh, we have the very senior faculty members are here who can also do consulting with respect to these msmes how to do the restructuring capital restructuring okay and most important what they are going to do with these funds so that needs a project report so the project report will first say what are all my projections how this funds will be utilized where i will spend it how the turnover will increase and what is the margin how i will repay my uh, my loan existing loan of my company how the non performing asset will become a performing asset this is uh, what it is so almost a dying company you are actually reviving it that is it is uh, something phenomenal and this model i must say it is a bharat ratna model is a bharat ratna model good and look at the third one third leg which is a uh, 50000 crore 50000 crore equity infusion we are in now 1140 guys maybe i'll take another 5 to 6 minutes to explain this particular model and then uh, i will actually uh, uh, be open for questions from all of you so 50000 crore equity infusions for msmes through fund of funds this is also only for msmes and please look at this equity will provide equity only equity no debt only equity here this is in the form of debt 20000 crore 3 lakh crore is also in the form of debt loan but the 50000 is not in the form of debt it is only in the form of equity but now how equity government will give equity means ownership so that is why they use a concept of fund of fund mother fund so government will transfer some money to this mother fund look at this so the fund of fund with corpus of 10000 will be set up with this 10000 they will borrow four times of it that will be 40000 so 50000 corpus will be there with the fund of fund this 50000 will be reinvested in 5 to 10 the venture capital companies which will also be at trust this venture capital companies for example 50000 divided by 10 each venture capital company will have 5000 crores of capital this 5000 crores the uh, young uh, energetic uh, idea uh msmes so the entrepreneurs who are having uh, the fertile ideas okay the most uh, uh, ideas which will be most sellable ideas they have to come out with these ideas and with project reports and again there are a lot of consulting workers there and especially uh, academic fraternity members you can actually think of uh, all this and uh, you must actually encourage uh, students especially students uh, to think uh, entrepreneurship first then only the last alternative only campus recruitment what is campus recruitment going to a, an employee an employer for a salary so the on the student must first think of entrepreneurship when these kind of uh, very nice uh, schemes are there and this is the, and especially youngsters youngsters coming from uh, the branded colleges with uh, the academic uh, acumen and skill and this is the place where uh, we have uh, friends from various parts of the various places of the uh, what is it jawalal nehru college for women ulundur pet and we have many such uh, uh, what do you say uh, great institutions uh, uh, hans rover college autonomous perambalu okay we have uh, assistant professor at tnc so we have various very nice uh, institutions in our country and why not uh, 
the potential students actually uh, try why this what is the viability on the potential uh, product i must give one interesting example here for example uh, uh, how many of you know about uh, this particular gentleman okay so who is actually maybe uh, <clears throat> the electricity so who is this kaitan kaitan um rajasthan so oh, is a mini grid ah yes raj kaitan please look at this guys this guy gram power please go to gram power dot link uh, gram power dot link uh, this is gram power gram power hmm. gramboweracom electrifying the planet intelligently how many of you uh, have gone to this particular site please look at this he is a national awardee 22 year old yashraj kaitan finds it difficult to explain to his parents what exactly he is doing in a remote village in rajasthan two friends look at this he is a Brit british guy okay one year ago a fresh graduate from university of california beckley kaitan turned down an offer from ericsson and gram power is a venture he co-founded along with his batchmate jack uh, jacob dickinson Okay, where he went? He went to uh, uh, what is this? Uh, he is the uh, new Swadesh, uh, the new Shahrukh Khan, like a Swadesh uh, film, uh, Hindi film. He is the new Shahrukh Khan. What he did? Uh, he actually uh, initially there was uncertainty about his innovation. It's like a jugad, power of jugad. There was some eighteen uh, to twenty villages, guys. Eighteen to twenty villages. There was no electricity there. He brought the electricity to these villages using renewable energy. What is renewable? Energy? Wind, solar. what uh, everything he mixed it and one very interesting product is a 22 or enterprise is bringing electricity to through a technology that produces and stores renewable energy storage of energy is very 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 different can you actually uh, say closing stock of electricity closing stock of power he did it that means uh, by charging by keeping the charge and then uh, giving and uh, he created a model a business model what is the business model guys very important model prepaid electricity prepaid electricity for that he was uh, given uh, award by uh, our pradhan mantri okay so uh, very interesting model gram power grid please look at this uh, gram power set up india's first smart micro grid in a village close to uh, todarai singh mandal in tonk district in rajasthan which had no connection to the state electricity grid the startup now supplies for more than 200 people allowing them to use cfl bulb tvs fans buttermilk machines radios and other common household appliances this is idea guys this is what they want msme with growth potential and viability this is what i want and youngsters have that growth potential then debt equity structure 50000 crore 5000 crore you need 10 crores okay i'll give 2 crores equity 8 crores debt you invest some 50 lakhs okay go ahead with it develop it exit in 3 years you repay that whatever debt plus interest you repay and i will exit as a equity shareholders in 5th year or 6th year this is the model and it will encourage msmes to get listed on the main board of stock exchanges that is ultimate idea and the future of msmes is to make them micro to large and large to listed company and listed company they want to actually give the benefit all the uh, indians by participating as a shareholder in the company so this is uh, the model guys and that is the way at which uh, this uh, entire um, uh, prime minister's vision atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan self reliant india movement by considering the five pillars of atmanirbhar infrastructure economy system vibrant demography and demand and i am sure guys and i am sure guys uh, uh, within this uh, 45 minutes we are now almost close to 1147 and i am sure uh, i have uh, made uh, my points very very clear to all of you and i will now be uh, open for any questions uh, from all of you guys so thank you very much uh, for the opportunity given especially to uh, uh, my uh, mgr janaki college for arts and science uh, for women and uh, especially to all the participants uh, who are part of this uh, very unique program one request to each and every one of you kindly subscribe this channel there is a button below uh, this there is a subscribe button that subscribe button doesn't uh, uh, cost you anything doesn't cost you anything so that would please uh, put your uh, subscribe uh, subscription to it so that in the future uh, any kind of uh, 
new programs you will be intimated number one number two and this is also an encouragement for uh, uh, people like us uh, especially uh, mgr janaki college team and uh, myself uh, involving in uh, these kind of academic uh, uh, awareness uh, campaigns uh, which we are doing in the for the past one or two months especially in this covid 19 pandemic period thank you very much over to uh, shiba madam thank you sir so there are some questions posted by the participants sir so oh. these fund schemes are available for service sector and whether the service sectors are eligible for these schemes absolutely now if you look at uh, this particular schemes uh, uh, whether this is a atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan scheme or the regular msme schemes which is the schemes they are referring to i think the scheme atmanirbhar because you mentioned atmanirbhar in yeah. atmanirbhar uh, maybe i'll make this point very clear please look at this uh, here they have made it very clear this 3 lakh crore is applicable for business or msmes who are existing borrowers so the existing borrower is a training institution the existing borrower is actually a, a consulting company the existing uh, borrowing uh, borrower is actually a, a engineering uh, consulting company they already have a facility on that facility 20% additional credit will be given provided it is a working capital facility so therefore uh, they never uh, distinguish between the manufacturing or service sector so service sector are eligible as far as 3 lakh crore is concerned similarly with respect to 20000 crore subordinate debt also the msmes they have not distinguished between the uh, what do you call it as manufacturing as well as uh, service they only make one condition very clear functioning msme that means running organization so that's the only condition so next question uh one more thing will new banks will take the charge of issuing loans by msme will new madam new what banks. is it new the che charge new banks will take a charge for issuing charge. loans for msme no 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 interest as for as, interest loan no. so as far as the existing schemes or atmanirbhar schemes which is atmanirbhar sir as per atmanirbhar as per atmanirbhar atman as per atmanirbhar scheme uh, it's a self reliant india scheme every bank uh, they have to come out with uh, they have to come out with the uh, schemes now the tier uh, how it works uh, you have on the top uh, you have on the top the central government and below central government you have the reserve bank of india which is the regulator for the banks so now the uh, atmanirbhar uh, bharat abhiyan scheme has uh, opened up that there is a stimulus package now how the stimulus package has to be implemented reserve bank of india through directions they will actually uh, drive the banks i repeat drive the banks to come out with the individual schemes now there is one month time available from the date this was announced this was announced on 13th of may we are now on 26th of may so almost 13 days are over please wait for another one week or 10 days before 13th of june reserve bank of india through its direction and banks and banks day and night 24/7 they are actually working on this to design uh, schemes with the conditions lot of conditions they are putting so therefore uh, please understand it is not a, a free money this 20 lakh crore is not free money out make it 20 lakh crore package uh, consist of some uh, what do you call it as uh, some stimulus uh, free distribution packages and all that is a different one but um, i want to make uh, one point clear guys this three schemes this msme three schemes it is not free schemes it is actually a stimulus in the form of giving loans and uh, conditions will provide like uh, documentation existing track record and their gst returns uh, they have to prove that they are actually affected by covid 19 pandemic all these are important i'll give you three simple tips number 1 29 to 2020 balance sheet number 2 the day before you make an application balance sheet and pnl account from 29 to till for example you are making an application of 1st of june from 1st of april i'm sorry 1st of march march april may 3 month the profit and loss account number 2 the balance sheet as on 29 to number 3 the balance sheet as on the 1st of june these are the three documents plus number 4 your gst returns number 5 your stock all this if there is no uh, Uh, documents with respect to a government related uh, submissions it has to be certified by a professional and then it will be submitted okay based on that 
the the numbers will actually will reveal that yes i have been affected by covid 19 pandemic it is not uh, just by saying that no i have been affected by covid 19 pandemic i need support so therefore that is the most important aspect uh, here so it is not uh, yeah automatic the word automatic means they are eligible the once the word eligibility is there the automatic approval is there next question so uh, looking into that eligibility will they consider the civil score for giving loans uh, as for far as the civil score is concerned they will not be worried about it why because it is only the existing borrowers i repeat existing borrowers as on 292 so therefore no civil scoring is civil score need to be checked again naturally during this 3 month time uh, their civil score uh, would have been uh, uh, backwards only not forward next question yeah. how the moratorium uh, will is is it benefit for the people or for the bank uh, the scheme oh, you know, uh, this is uh, not an atmanirbhar question this is a yeah, covid regulatory package announced by reserve bank of india on 27th of march 2020 on that day reserve bank of india announced a scheme which has mentioned it very clearly that uh, there will be a 3 months moratorium that means a march a april may 31st may up to now they are again coming out with one more announcement for which uh, uh, we are awaiting uh, the reserve bank of india's direction that uh, another 3 months they are going to extend that means uh, june july august so that means 6 months moratorium now what do you mean by moratorium as per, uh, maybe as per uh, uh, tamil uh, Uh, what do you call it as a, if it is in tamil i have to say tadai moratorium means tadai so it will be stopped temporary stop so that means if there is an emi you have to pay for example there is an emi payment with respect to your car loan there is an emi payment with respect to your housing loan then that 3 uh, months uh, you need not pay provided you have to enable it see there is a entire process there is an agreement which you have already made for the loan which you have borrowed you will pay monthly now because of a pandemic uh, there is a scheme that has been announced there is a package that has been announced so you have to actually give a letter saying that due to this particular package i am now availing this particular 3 months uh, moratorium i will pay this later because uh, this 3 months will be paid later this will be included to your uh, principal and thereby your repayment period will extend elongated or your emi amount will get elongated so therefore naturally there will be a burden on you so you have to rework your uh, arithmetic and find out whether it will be feasible or not i repeat it will be feasible or not you know to whom it will be feasible it will be feasible those who are in the early stages of the borrowing that means uh, just now i have borrowed 3 months 6 months back uh, i have another 5 years 6 years to repay for them it will be beneficial those who are on the later stage of uh, payment later stage means uh, another 5 more months 6 more months my loan will be over should i take the moratorium means they are actually overburdening themselves and uh, they are exposed to, to more rate of interest so therefore arithmetic calculation only can help them it is not uh, by default we can give an answer okay good so moratorium will be beneficial for one type of borrower it may not be beneficial for another type of borrower especially oh. early borrowers it will be beneficial late those who are on the later stage of the tenor for them it may not be applicable okay sir then why uh, you said it's a, for women entrepreneurs a... madam your uh, voice is not clear you have to speak so why 20% is eligibility for women entrepreneurs sir? you said it's only 20% for women entrepreneurs no 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 i didn't say like that the statistic says out of the msmes who have been registered 80% of the msme registered a uh, sole proprietors are owned by men the sole proprietors owned by women are only 20% so what is the point i am driving is we need to actually encourage uh, women to actually uh, become entrepreneurs on their own and register as a uh, micro small and medium enterprises and more benefits are available more schemes are available for women entrepreneurs under the micro msme ministry the skill development ministry women and child development ministry almost every ministry of finance every ministry for example in ministry of finance you have that uh, shishu and the kishor uh, loans so the, all these are uh, benefits available for women entrepreneurs they have to avail it next okay. question yes sir so and one more thing like uh, funds of fund you send the equity fund whether yeah. it's applicable only for venture 
business of all kind of business number 1 the micro small and medium enterprises should be a limited company private limited or a limited company second they should come out with an innovation innovative idea saleable idea and that they have to create a project report and they have to say what is my participation equity what is the investor participation i need i need an investor participation of 75% 80% investor 90% investor so we have to actually see the venture capital uh, norms they will say uh, with respect to entertainment industry we will only uh, we will only encourage a 30% equity with respect to manufacturing industry we will entertain up to 70% and 80% equity with respect to uh, construction we will only entertain 60% equity so sector to sector the venture capital stakes uh, will differ will increase and which will decrease so therefore based on that they have to come out with ideas the routine uh, my what my chitappa did what my aunt did what my uncle did what my uh, neighbor did what my uh, what my teacher did if the same if the same student is doing uh, they will not get venture capital funding they have to think they have to come out with new ideas then only the funding will be there uh, sir so request the participants to kindly fill in the feedback forms a uh, feedback link i'll just post it now so this is the feedback link so any other question we can take or may I request uh, madam shiba to give the closing remarks so that's all i think so. okay so thank you sir thank you for this wonderful session sir okay so on behalf of the participant principal and the staff members i thank you for this informative session thank you sir thank you ma'am